right hello everyone so even though i already have done a video on the full moon coming up and i mentioned uh uranus retrograde in another video i wanted to make this one about solely about uranus retrograde so there's i'm sure there's lots of videos out there but i just want to talk about where it's happening and another aspect another way of um looking at this okay so the retrograde is happening in the 10th house okay so hear me hear me out it's happening in the 10th house and the 10th house is all about our careers our reputation um our purpose you know our our, our life goals our public goals where we want to be and i took notes some notes on this right and we know that when uranus is in retrograde it slows down so this is a great time to look at where we are right now what we're doing with our lives right now we're in leo season so i'm putting this up on august 18th so it will still be in leo season for a few days because it switches over into virgo season on the 22nd which is the aquarius full moon so what do we want to do we want to use all of the different seasons even if it's not our birth sign to empower us this is like a daily practice a a um a practice of the high you know moon days and so on so we want to incorporate this in our life and really you know give ourselves our, our spiritual diary even writing it down on our regular calendar so we can actually see it you know, I, I usually like to have two calendars, but I find that if I could put it all in one calendar sometimes, it it really does help to bring more balance, more, more focus, more blessings into our lives, right? So looking at this Uranus retrograde, we want to look at how does Uranus energy affect us in our lives. So just taking a look at it we and and even taking a look at what's happening in the world in the big picture right so there's a lot of big changes that is reflected in uranus okay but let's take it personally to our lives uranus slows down in this retrograde we are looking at how this affects us how we can slow down and look at how it affects us as far as Taurus, okay also so Taurus is all about the home it's about caring about the things that we own the things that we have okay um caring about beautiful things that we own our privacy even right uh and yes the uranus retrograde will affect us in different houses in our charts right but i want us to look at it this way as just focusing on uranus and on taurus's energy because it's going to be in taurus from the 20th of august till next year january 18th 2022 so looking at the 10th house our career our parents right or you know so one chart it says mother another chart it says father and i think it more goes to the father energy but parents okay our our work and and the work is affecting all of us right now as far as you know there's more jobs to work from home and that's a great benefit for parents um and wanting to be there for our kids so we can work from home we can work a little bit out of the home so we really want to look at how is this whole virus and how is it going to affect us because i predicted it would be a three-year um, battle really for us to get back on our feet just from me <laughs> uh, not having that much faith in people doing what is best right there's always a way to make money and not really looking out for the best interests of others right so as, as a whole as a collective and we all we had that whole um saturn and jupiter experience right before uh we had all of that shut down so it was just and that whole capricorn energy so we had all of these experiences now with this uranus energy we can use it to propel us forward that's how i'm doing this okay so slowing down looking at at how 
Taurus affects us. And it's not about, oh, I don't like Taurus, I don't like that sign. It's looking at how do you feel about your home, right? How do you feel about caring about your the items that you have, your personal space, your um, grounding your energy, tapping into even... It, Taurus is ruled by Venus, so our love relationship, our partners. So we're looking at that, right? Now, I always mention, not always, well, the 13th uh, zodiac sign. So whatever I say in here, take a little bit of Scorpio and a little bit of Sagittarius. If you resonate with the 13, um, the 13 month calendar, we, we do have 13 moons. So it does play a role. So right now, Uranus is starting its retrograde in the 10th house so this just came to me and i just started you know just jotting down some notes on what i feel you know just pulling down some notes on this so our public image our social contribution parents father it could be mother as well so looking at the relationship with that your profession your public uh role in life so a lot of everyone will be in different stages of their life when it comes to work so how is this going to affect you and how are you shaping your life because it's a three-year plan of either getting by or making it through because once we hit the middle of 2022, we should, we're still going to be going through it. But once we get to 2023, it will be a bigger change. So we still have to keep going until we hit 2023. That's just my prediction, okay? So from now till August, from now, right, August 2021 to January 2018, 2020, it's time to adjust our 10th house, okay? I hate looking at my notes, but sometimes I have to end. And the house in Uranus and how it affects you in your birth chart. So, so this is where we're going to go. Look at your birth chart. Where is Uranus in your birth chart? If you were born under a retrograde, I'm going to tell you how that affects you now in this retrograde and what you can use in these last few days of Leo and how you can use um, this Virgo energy. These two, I feel, is very strong because Leo is is a center stage and out there and the Virgo and ruled by the sun, which is the self. And then the, the, Vir the Virgo energy is ruled by Mercury communicating that and they're grounded and they get it done. So both of these powerful zodiac zodiac aspect that we have within ourselves get it done so if you're born with a uranus at the time of a uranus retrograde even if you're not the sign that would be mostly affected by the retrograde you will still you will still have an effect on you if you if you're a sign that that is um rule by uranus or a sign that's compatible with uh to with um any signs that's ruled by uranus then you will be um strongly affected and especially if you're born under the uranus retrograde okay sorry if i'm repeating myself but um so this is a very powerful time right now for you to do shadow work for everyone but especially if you feel like you need it it's time to do that shadow work and to clear out any thing that you lack that's regarding uranus okay so so look at the house in your birth chart where uranus is in that will match up with your 10th house you'll see how they both match up so if uranus was retrograding in your first house as an example your first house is the i am myself it's aries home so your your personal view of yourself your personal um confidence right and how does it match up with the uranus retrograde okay so th with the uranus retrograde and i'm jumping back and forth of, with my notes and i don't want to do that so i'll get there so where is uranus in your birth chart and compare it to the 10th house and how do they affect each other in a negative way but then how or or a positive way but i'm looking at how does it affect it in in the negative way because it's a retrograde and then see how you could make that a positive thing 
okay? How you can empower yourself with that. The first, I'm going to give three steps. The first thing that you can do is a spiritual cleansing. Cleanse away whatever it is that you've been experiencing, whatever you feel. It doesn't matter where you feel this negative energy is coming from, self, others, whatever. You just want to cleanse it away. You also want to sit in clear thought. This could be shadow work. I know that we're in a waxing moon right now, but you can still start it up and do it for seven days each day what it, based on what you write down write down seven things if you can't find seven things please try and find seven things <laughs> maybe it's like a split of one of the things you experience right but each day journal on each of these seven things seven days a week work with that so clear thought is going to come from sitting down thinking and writing that down start your shadow work whenever you see this video it doesn't matter and the outcome is a goal from that shadow work so, so remember it's a spiritual cleansing you can look it up figure it out and you know and then do your shadow work but you have to sit down and really think about it and think this through right think it through how you feel right now why you're feeling this right now write down seven things even from your childhood that really affect you to now okay the second thing kind of feels like the first which is journal um journal your uranus house in your birth chart write it down it's the first house or it's the second house it was a uranus retrograde it, it wasn't a uranus retrograde um what are the other planets there what does uranus mean in this house what does that other planet mean in this house and you're building a story from that okay and then how does this show up in your life right now okay i put should but how does this show up in your life right now so from your birth chart how does uranus in that house affect you right now in your life so feel free to pause the video as i'm talking because it could be a lot right you're going to write it down you're taking notes so how does uranus show up in your life right now and how in your own personality dealing with yourself dealing with others how does that show up Okay, so that was two. Now three is let go. Get rid of what blocks you because Uranus is all about freedom. Um, it's about revolution. We can see that in our own lives if, if we're going through that. If, if everything is great, then that's good. You know, use that energy to keep it up, right? If it's not that great, you know, look at the meaning of Uranus. Um, your originality, okay, in your life purpose so taking a deep look at that so we are looking at the planet in your birth chart now right so when uranus is retrograde and i didn't write this down but when uranus is retrograde in your birth chart you're unable to fully express yourself your feelings your feelings might be off or feel odd you might feel like an oddball at times um you also if you're born during this retrograde time you have issues or struggles with fully feeling free to express yourself even if you you are you're working on it you're trying it you're doing it you might hit periods where you pause where you stop and that has a lot to do with the slowing down of the planet but you're still very powerful you still get things done but you might get it slower than you really uh, want to and then this becomes more of an issue whenever you're around negative people that aren't fully supporting you or you are just thinking too much negative thoughts. So you're your own worst enemy, right? So it's really looking at how Uranus retrograde will affect you if it's in your birth chart, if you were born when it was retrograde. And also if you were born and it wasn't in retrograde, then it's very powerful for you you won't have that um, effect okay now working through this leo season today's the 18th so i'm putting this video because i just felt guided to just share this information that came to me right so leo season is about courage leo season equals courage so whenever you see this just you know do a mantra do something write positive affirmation words and really bring, build up your courage think about the sun 
um, the sun energy. You could do this at the sun hour, the planetary hour. If you're watching this and you're like, oh, I'm late to this video, you're never late, um, get, get on your phone, a planetary app, and the sun hour really connect to the Leo energy within you. Look at your birth chart where Leo is and fill up that part of your chart with positive energy. Woohoo, I feel that, I, I feel that, right? And then with Virgo, okay, look up Mercury hour because when we're going into Virgo season, August 28th on the full moon in Aquarius is gonna start Virgo season. And we're still gonna have Uranus retrograde um, until January 18th, 2022. So on the 22nd, on that full moon, on another special practice you can do uh, for Virgo season is whenever you can tap into that on your calendar, on your app, find the Mercury hour and where is uh, Virgo in your birth chart build up those positive um, meanings of that house and also your your Virgo right so Virgo is all Leo was all about courage Virgo is all about getting organized um, and that do it energy get it done energy right and that really helps people that were born under Uranus retrograde and people that are going through the retrograde right now don't look at it as negative i used to you know years ago be like oh it's mercury retrograde oh it's uranus retrograde i don't look at it as a negative because even if you didn't know about astrology would still go through rough times uh, struggling times hard times sad times depressing times and great times right so there there's people that i know that mercury retrograde works great for them because they're a boss mind they're like I'm gonna make things happen like it's gonna work for me boom 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 so use this Uranus energy in your personal life to really get you not worried about your 10th house and your career and your life purpose but feeling motivated everything no matter what it is whatever technique you're using whatever ancient practice you have to feel more powerful than your situation you have to be more optimistic than your situation you can all it doesn't mean that you don't feel down or sad but you always have to bring your energy back up and just use this retrograde to kind of sit back and see it because the funny thing is and i'm going to say this real quick i'm see if see if i can end this in 20 minutes or less <laughs> but i've noticed in another situation where it's been a build up for a few years actually that someone's behavior is finally catching up with them probably it caught up with them at the last full moon but now we're moving into this Uranus retrograde and more things are going to happen because the person wasn't focusing on themselves um, wasn't minding their own business wasn't um, just working on themselves right just in a negative space so you know even if you hear it second hand or whatever you notice that hey, the full moon reveals things. And we can see this on a public stage as well, where this Uranus energy is, you know, my prediction is coming up to January. There's going to be a big shift from what's happening now, right? Especially, mm, I'm trying to see how I'm going to say it, because <laughs> this Uranus energy is definitely in my retrograde is in my chart. So it's really anywhere where you see Uranus and the comp compromising freedom revolution um, those those main things with Uranus wherever you see it being compromised just know that by the end of it there's going to be a big shift publicly and in our personal life that's going to propel us to um, a better structure okay if it's used right it will bring us to a better structure if it's done wrong it's going to bring more chaos on one platform but in another platform it's going to bring us more of what we want so we really have to channel that energy and we don't have to be in a large group together we can be in our own space and really put out that energy of um you know i i need more freedom and free time for my my life goals for some people they already work from home they love working from home but you're you're projecting for yourself what you really want as far as your career your 10th house i want to be able to go to work you know one day a week come home 
uh, work four days a week, go into the office one day a week, work out of the home, work in the home as well. So there's there can be balance in that. We just have to um, look at, um, it also means um, reform, um, reforming. So we can have change and we can reform things and everyone can have it work for them and fit into their lives. So that was just my take in looking at it and kind of having a practical practice to infuse this energy um, into our lives. But definitely the way to move ourselves forward is really being original for ourselves and being um, free to express ourselves. So hopefully I'll upload this video. I, I think the message spoke good to me and whoever it uh, resonated with hopefully it uh, speaks good for you so everything that we're doing right now is really building up for me I feel for 2023 so everything you're doing is just going to make 2023 better and 2022 is still going to be a working progress and getting better all right thank you guys for watching Bye.